I started making my very own doggy recipes when I was 18 years old. It was actually at the RSPCA where I made and sold my natural, very basic recipes to owners to raise money for the charity. I immediately absolutely loved it. At the show, I just got to cuddle dogs all day. I confetti treats all over the place. Um, and it just clicked so I, I had to continue what I was doing in some way, you know, on, on a permanent basis. And, and that's exactly what I did. It was the trade stand side of the, the business. So really going to shows, understanding what owners wanted in dog food. So, you know, the words natural came up. They, they loved the idea that the meat was actually coming from the butchers because at home the dog would be around the dinner table you know when a Sunday roast was at the table the dog would be there and I think the owners just absolutely loved the idea of the dog having their very own Sunday roast and it was just this first Sunday roast recipe which transformed you know and blew open all the different recipes we have for dogs and it is very much to you know kind of a humanized menu for them um, with very lovely ingredients as well. A doggy chef is a term that I've proudly called myself. I actually made recipes for dogs for five years and it's only been recently where we actually managed to you know have the demand to really you know go into a lovely communal kitchen where the treats are actually baked now. Um, of course because there's no added preservatives or additives I do have to very carefully know when they're made and you know they have to get to the owner very fast so we literally bake it and send it straight from our kitchen to them in a matter of days which I think the dogs can smell and know, know it's fresh. <laughs> oh, we have lots of pack members. Each member the owner rates the recipes so of course they start to personalise the box and also the absolute best part of my job is each owner sends in a photo of their dog which we actually put on the front of the box so when the parcel arrives obviously you know it's Poppy's box Poppy's on the front she gets a recipe which she knows she enjoys and it's just a really sweet experience for them um, you know when it's Christmas all my pack members receive a proper turkey Christmas dinner uh, as you know I think every member of the family has to celebrate it and so you can see it's just it's something really sweet and special which is made for the dog it's fresh and it's just a bit of fun. I welcome absolutely any dog into our pack as a promotion at the moment we do offer like a first trial box completely complimentary on the doggy house and so you know I say if anyone wants one you know as a sample then just email in send me a photo which is something that I do ask for and we'll sort that out for them. When I started Top Collar I just had one thing in mind I wanted to make a fun attitude towards pet health I think the fact that all our ingredients has stayed very true to the fact that there's no preservatives no additives and our very unusual pet menu has blossomed which I think is hilarious and dogs love so I'm really pleased that we've never strayed away from how it began which is fun, fresh and natural.